So it's day two of our Lynx tour of Dublin. And this morning we drove out about 20 minutes from the city and arrived here on Bull Island, this really beautiful setting uh, where this afternoon I hear I'm going to get a chance to play with Irish golfing legend Christy O'Connor. Uh, here at a course that, that I think is really the jewel in Dublin's golfing crown, this is the Royal Dublin Golf Club. The interesting of this bit of land didn't exist 250 years ago. It's an island in the middle of Dublin Bay and it's one of the youngest pieces of land in Ireland in the sense that it was, that it was literally, literally, as we've often said here, a gift from the sea. For me, this is a course that's all about angles and precision mm -hmm. and really knowing where to place the ball. Yeah. I mean, I think three, this is a pretty good example of a hole where you've got to put it in the right place. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what that place is. I'll tell you, John was able to show me all the good spots and the bad spots to not be in, and that's really the sort of thing you need here at Royal Dublin, a real subtle golf course uh, where you have to know where to hit it, and you got to hit your spots, especially when the wind's up. So this is by far the most difficult tee shot in Royal Dublin. Yeah. You've got the you got the out of bounds down the right, hard wind blowing left to right. Yeah. Try and bail out, and you've got uh, you've got a tough task ahead of you. There's just no room to bail out, so you've got to stand up and have a fully committed tee shot here. So 14. I mean, talk about a great backdrop for a hole. I mean, you've got the clubhouse, and you got the towers there. It's like making a field goal, I guess. So Kristen, we've come to 16, and this is a hole, this is a stretch of holes here, where your dad made some rare history. Without a doubt he did. Uh, it was 1966, and he was playing in the Carls International, and he proceeded to stand up here, hit his tee shot onto the green, he holds the putt for two. Wow. So then he goes to 17, it's a good drive up, he punched a nine iron into about 15 feet, he held the putt, I think we wait till 18 until I tell you about that one. Okay, I okay. think something good happened there too. Without a doubt, <laughs> without a doubt. Hugely demanding finishing golf hole. Fantastic, but very tough. You've got to get your tee shot into position. Then your second shot, you're going over the famous garden, as yes. you can see on your right-hand side, which is all out of bounds. Yeah. And it's got a great legacy here. I mean, this hole has played a huge part in some big tournaments, and especially the way your dad finished. And the ball drops. Oh, what a wonderful shot from Christy O'Connor here at his home course in Royal Dublin. Crowd all around. He holds the puff for three and wins the tournament. What a great day at Royal Dublin. You'll see the sun came out. Uh, just, it was really personally a great honor to play with Christy. I was here on the day when they laid his dad to rest and the whole membership came out. So to be here with his son and hear about his accomplishments and what he meant to Irish golf, it just really means a lot to me. I'll be back soon for sure.